Hello friends, in this video I am going to teach you about propagation of waves in rectangular waveguide. Okay, if we propagate the microwave in rectangular waveguide, then what are the field components in the x and y and z direction? I am going to derive in this video what are the field components in the x and y direction when we propagate our microwave in rectangular waveguide. First, let's see what is rectangular waveguide. If the, if the waveguide is in the shape of rectangle, then we call that type of waveguide is a rectangular waveguide. First, let's see here. Consider a rectangular waveguide situated in the rectangular coordinate system with its, with its breadth along x-axis, width along y-axis and wave is assumed to propagate along z-direction and waveguide filled with air as dielectric. Now, let's see here. Consider it is a rectangular waveguide. Here, the breadth is along x direction it is the breadth it is the breadth of the waveguide i consider the breadth as a a and width is along y axis that is i consider as b and wave is propagating along z direction that means the wave is passing along the z direction and the breadth is along x direction width is along y direction this is the rectangular waveguide now i am going to show you what are the te and tm waves for rectangular waveguides these are the wave equations these are we derived from these two equations we derived from the wave equations that is uh, this is for the te wave we know when we call a t uh, wave is t wave means whenever the electric field in the propagation direction is zero then we call the type of waves is te waves and when the magnetic field is zero in the propagation direction then we can call the type of waves as tm waves and these two are the wave equations for te and tm waves wave equation for te wave is del square hz is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon hz and wave equation for tm wave is del square ez is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ez okay now consider any one of the equation i'm go uh, now i consider the equation of uh, tm wave okay that is del square ej is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ej uh, expanding del square ej in rectangular coordinate system now i am going to expand this uh, tm wave equation that is del square e bar by dou x square dou square ej by dou y square plus dou square ej by dou z square is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ej here we already know the wave is propagating along z direction that means when wave is propagating along z direction it affects the propagation constant that is uh, gamma okay here observe since the wave is propagating in the z direction we have the operator that is dou square z by dou z square is equal to gamma square where gamma is the propagation constant along the z direction so we can consider that dou square z by dou z square is equal to gamma square uh, for the, the actual term is dou by dou z is equal to minus gamma that is dou square z by uh, dou, dou z square is equal to gamma square okay it is obtained from dou by dou z is equal to minus gamma now here observe i simply substitute in place of dou square by dou z as gamma square now our equation will be like this that is dou square ej by dou x square plus dou square ej by dou y square plus gamma square ej is equal to minus omega square mu epsilon ej now i simply move this term to this side then our equation will be like this that is dou square ej by dou x square plus dou square ej by dou y square plus here i consider i take common as ej then gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon into ej i take common as ej then our equation will be like this now simply i assume gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to h square here we have gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon i simply assume uh, in place of gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon as h square now i uh, am going to substitute uh, in place of gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon as h square then our equation will be like this that is uh, dou square ej by dou x square plus dou square ej by dou y square plus h square ej is equal to zero and this is for tm wave why because we considered the wave equation of tm wave and we derived up to here okay as similar to the t wave also okay now 
from this TM wave, from this is for the TM wave and from this TM wave we can write the equation for T wave also just uh, by replacing in place of Vz as Hz, okay. Then our uh, EM wave equation will be like this that is uh, similarly dou square Hz by dou x square plus dou square, dou square Hz by dou x square plus uh, S square Hz is equal to 0. It is for TE wave, okay. It is for TE wave. Now, uh, now we are going to apply some of the Maxwell's equation for deriving the field components uh, in x and y direction. So, here observe by solving the above partial differential equations, we get solutions for Ez and Hz using Maxwell's equation and it is possible to find various components along x and y direction that is uh, Ex, Hx, Ey, Hy, Ex, e, e, Hx and Ey, Hy are the magnetic and electric fields along the x and y directions. Okay, By using the Maxwell's equations, we can simply find these uh, field components along the x and y direction. For that, I considered the Maxwell's first equation. That is, we already know the Maxwell's first equation is uh, curl of h bar is equal to j omega epsilon e bar. Here we can call it as a del cross h bar also. We know the curl operator is, curl of h bar is nothing but i bar j bar k bar dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z hx hy hz okay it is a uh, uh, in place of a uh, del cross h bar we can write this and j omega epsilon okay here j omega epsilon and uh, i am expanding this e bar also okay this e bar means electric field now i am going to expand this electric field uh, in the direction of uh, uh, x y and z so my electric field equation will be like this that is a uh, i bar e x bar plus j bar e y bar plus k bar e z bar now i simply equate the uh, here in this side we have i bar j bar k bar and in this side also we have i bar j bar k bar i simply equate the i bar coefficients j bar coefficients and k bar coefficients here let us see and one more thing here i already told you uh, dou by dou z is nothing but minus gamma okay where gamma is a propagation constant dou by dou z is equal to minus gamma in place of dou by dou z here i simply replace a dou by dou by z dou z dash minus gamma okay now i am simply equating the coefficients of uh, i bar j bar k bar on both sides then uh, we will get the three equations for the three coefficients that is uh, for i bar i will get the dou by dou z okay dou h dou h z by dou y plus gamma h y is equal to j omega epsilon e x and for the j coefficients uh, dou h z by dou x plus gamma h x equal to j omega epsilon e y and for the k coefficients dou h y by dou x minus omega uh, dou h x by dou y equal to j omega epsilon e z and these are the three equations uh, which will get from these from the above equation okay from this equation i simply equate the i bar j bar and k bar coefficients and i'll get these three equations okay remember these three equations it will help in future okay now similarly by considering the second maxwell's equation that is a uh, del cross e bar is equal to minus j omega mu h bar okay similarly uh, from the above equations here also we need to derive like this only here observe del cross e bar we know what is meant by del cross e bar means i bar j bar k bar by dou, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z and e bar means e x, e y and e z and we know dou by dou z, dou by dou z is nothing but minus gamma. So, in place of dou by dou z, dou z I simply replace minus gamma equal to we know here equal to minus j omega mu into h bar. I simply exp uh, expanding this x h bar ok. Then our the equation will be like this i bar hx bar plus j bar hy bar plus k bar hz bar. Now, here also I am doing the same thing. I am expanding and equating the coefficients of i bar, j bar and k bar on the both sides. Then here also I am getting the three equations uh, for the for three coefficients for, for, for first coefficient. Okay. Here also as uh, similar to the before case, here also I am getting the three equations 
फॉर थ्री क्वेश्चन दैट इज आईवा जेबर के बा फॉर आईवार गॉट डो जेड डो यू जेड बाई डो वाई प्लस कामा यू वाई इक्वल टू माइनस जे ओमेगा म्यू एच एक्स एंड फॉर द जेबा क्वेश्चन आई गॉट डो यू जेड बाई डो एक्स प्लस गामा ई एक्स वाई ई एक्स इक्वल टू जे ओमेगा म्यू एच वाई एंड फॉर के बार क्वेश्चन आई गॉट डो यू वाई बाई डो एक्स माइनस डो ई एक्स बाई डो वाई इक्वल टू माइनस जे ओमेगा म्यू एच जेड हियर आई गॉट आई गॉट सिक्स इक्वेशन थ्री फ्रॉम टी एम वेव एंड थ्री फ्रॉम टी ई वेव नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड कॉम्पोनेट्स इन द एक्स एंड वाई डायरेक्शन फॉर दैट आई कंसिडर दिस थ्री इक्वेशन फर्स्ट लेट सी हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कंसिडर द इक्वेशन नंबर फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू दट इज दिस इक्वेशन ओके हियर ऑब्जर्व वेन आई मूव दिस जे ओमेगा म्यू टू दिस साइड then i will get hy observe when i move this j omega mu to this side i will get hy so uh, i am doing that thing only here that is hy is equal to i moved this uh, j omega mu to this side that is 1 by j omega mu into do ej by do x plus gamma ex by j omega mu okay here i got hy what is hy means okay now simply remember this hy and go to this equations okay here we have hy consider the equation number 4.28 in 4.28 we have hy hy term in place of this hy we simply substituted here this one that is 1 by j omega mu do ej by do x plus gamma j omega mu ex okay in place of that hy i simply replace this one so our equation will be like this that is uh, do h z by do y plus gamma j omega mu do e z by do x plus gamma square j omega mu e x equal to j omega epsilon e x now i need to find the value of electric field in x direction that is e x that's why i simply mu move this e x that is a uh, gamma square by j omega mu into e x to this side then our equation will be like this that is a e x e x into j omega mu minus gamma square by j omega mu equal to gamma by j omega mu do e z by do x plus do h z by do y here observe multiplying by j omega j omega mu on both sides then our equation will be like this that is e x into Minus gamma uh, omega square mu epsilon minus gamma square is equal to gamma do e z by do x plus j omega mu do h z by do y. Here observe e x into now I simply uh, here I take a common as minus then our equation will be like this so that is e x into minus of gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to gamma do e z by do x plus j omega mu do h z by do y here observe we already know gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to h square okay so here i substituted h square and i moved this h square to this side then uh, my equation will be like this that is e x equal to minus gamma by h square do e z by do x minus j omega mu by h square do h z by do y now i got the equation of electric field in the x direction now i need to find the equation of the electric field in y direction and as well as the equation of a magnetic field in the x and y direction for this i i simply take uh, for the next time i simply take hx from here and i moved this j omega mu to this side and i got the hx from this equation and this hx is substituted in the above equation this equation okay This H X is substituted here, and I will get E Y. Okay, so this is the process how to derive the electric and magnetic uh, fields in X and Y direction, and these are the final four equations. Final electric and magnetic field equation in X and Y directions. These are the important equation. You should remember these equations uh, for the examinations. 
and i hope you understand this topic if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box thank you thank you for watching this video